Hey folks, I am Technivorous. Welcome to the Technivorous channel. Today we are discussing 3D printing using this OSEC build surface. Now, this bad boy is double sided and comes with a heated warning label. I'll explain more about that in just a moment. And the adhesion so far has been spectacular. You might want to stick around, see some of the details, and watch how easily this model just pops right off the build plate today on the Technivorous channel. So let's jump right into it. I wanted to get your attention down to the color changing strip here on the tab. You can see that it's just now reaching the temperature where that tag will actually become a lot more vibrant. And then that also will let you know when the mat has cooled off. So very handy thing to have. Serves as a nice visual warning for anyone who might accidentally wander in and think, hey, I wonder if I can touch that. So. Um, I really really dig this it is actually on both sides this mat is dual sided and you can print on both of them which is also very very convenient my favorite part about this mat is how easily the parts come off once the mats pulled the clips are removed you'll see that hot surface tag cool down and then you can simply pop them off and that's what I really wanted to show you because it comes off completely clean with pretty much no marring or marking on the bed whatsoever so let's let this model finish up and then we'll jump over and take a look. Really quickly before we do, I wanted to back time up a little bit here and show you how it put down the first layer. Now, super duper smooth printing. The adhesion is really, really nice. I haven't had any issues with materials not sticking. And as you can see, it is putting down a gorgeous first layer now that's actually going to be the brim of this object and it'll be attached to the support that's supporting a part of this object but it just looks so pretty uh, you'll notice when I remove it that there's no marring or object shapes or anything like that left on the bed so very very interested in showing you that because it's super satisfying so I think without any further ado let's jump ahead to the removal Alright, our model has finished. As we can see, the surface is still hot, so we're going to very, very carefully remove the clips here. Okay, our model has come out pretty well. Let's get a little bit closer look here. way and there you can see it it is pretty gorgeous actually so let's take a look at how easy it is to remove from the bed basically just a good little flex and you can kind of hear it release and you'll see it edge pop up and it just snaps off just like that now in this case it did leave a little bit of marking there but there's no actual filament or attachment there um, there's nothing left to clean so uh, we can go right back to using the surface or we can simply flip it over and try the other side now this is an OSEC safe sheet and so far I am loving these guys very very good adhesion very very easy release so definitely worth a try as I said the link is down in the description and feel free to check them out let me know what you think and let's get another quick look at I'm very, very pleased with how the prints are coming off of this this Ender 3 original here. Just gorgeous. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. Stick around. We'll have more videos to come. And don't forget, till the end of May, we're taking donations for our fundraiser. You can find the video about it here and the link's in the description. So head on over and contribute to a worthy cause. Be on the lookout for match days when I'll be matching donations until my available funds are depleted. If you're curious about the next match day, follow me on Twitter. I'm at Technivorous. That's it for this one. Technivorous out.